How's it going, everybody? Light of the World Fireworks. Just got back from a little pickup. We went to Barefoot Village uh, Fireworks in Fredericktown, Missouri. Uh, Y'all swing by there, pick you up some fireworks. Uh, you can always call and they'll open the store usually for you. Uh, for the most part, you know, unless they got something going on. But they'll work with you and get open for you. But uh, Silver Arrow Rocket was the first thing. And some of this was actually gifts to the channel. So there was donations to the channel. I'll try to let you know what that was. Uh, there was actually quite a few of them, wasn't there? Taylor. <laughs> so, first up, we got Silver Arrow Rocket. These are a newer rocket, guys. They got the plastic tips on them. So, uh, he said take them and try them, see if they're any good. Uh, he had never tried them yet. So, Silver Tail up to report. So, we'll see if they do or not. Up next, we got Tick, Tick, Taylor. Boom. Boom. <laughs> Boom. So, there we go. I got a key in on everything, guys. <laughs> tick, tick, boom. So there's the performance on it, guys. I'm assuming that the boom is the crackle. So it looks pretty cool. So he gave me one of those to check out for free. Donated that to the channel. These I did buy. These are super annoying. Literally super annoying. So get it? That was a joke. But anyway, okay. So <laughs> they are... Uh, from world class super annoying they're just basically strobe sticks so i got 20 packs of six strobe sticks in here so i wanted a whole box to have because i love strobes so i thought that'd be a cool little addition to the collection and now i've got plenty for a long time I'll start shooting those so it's that time of year guys where i've got to shoot certain things and be cautious of where i shoot because we have a lot of trees in the yard so anything that goes up can catch a tree on fire and anything on the ground can catch the leaves on fire so i got to get all that mulched up and everything before i can really shoot some stuff so so he said take these home and see which one he i like the best so he gave me a pack of neon sparklers these are for monkey mania right there and these are fluorescent from world class so just sparklers i mean nothing spectacular to them but hey uh, anytime somebody wants to donate to the channel i do not turn anything down so There'll be probably a demo coming on these in the future. So, my helper over here. So, I picked up five of these. These are rock, uh, bottle rockets from Monkey Mania, guys. These are really good. I was impressed. Somebody had told me, one of my buddies told me that these were actually really decent rockets. And so, I bought me a gross from Hannibal and I checked them out and tried them. And they fly really well. And they are actually paper rockets, so they're not the wet plastic kind that all whistle now. These are actual real bottle rockets. So if you see these out and about, guys, pick you some up because they're pretty good. I'm going to be shooting the one I got and hanging on to some of these so I have them. But um, I really, they're good enough that I'm definitely probably going to get more. So they, uh, you know how rockets, like they, like, you know, they typically they'll go maybe 20 foot in the air and then they'll pop. If you're lucky, they'll go that far. These actually flew towards the trees. Taylor, you were out there when I was testing them. They actually flew up towards the trees before they popped. So they got, they had a pretty good, uh, a pretty good distance on them. So I'm impressed with them. So I'm going to pick up some more of those. This was a donation. Miss Ella's going to want to play with that. So it's a green duck. It's funny. It reminds me, Taylor, you probably won't know nothing about this, but anybody that's ever saw Billy Madison, he draws the duck blue because he's never saw a blue duck. <laughs> and he goes, I wanted to see a blue duck. But anyway, this is a green duck. And it was the only one left. I guess they all had sold out. But uh, yeah, so well, I had a yellow one like this. And it was actually really good. So I'll probably demo this one. Hopefully it works as well. And we got a yellow puppy dog from uh, Cutting Edge. And they had a name on these. It doesn't say it on the box on this though. But was it puppy oh puppy pals that's what was the name on the box too yeah so there was four of them in a box and he gave me a yellow one so we're gonna check it out and hopefully it's pretty good so yeah these are super cool so i've had cutting edge flowers there and i've bought them there plenty of times but these well as you can see here this i'll open this box because I bought a couple for me and a couple for a buddy. So I'll just make this one my box. <laughs> the wings look really cool. And I, I was like, I doubt that there's anything special about them. 
I just keep pushing it further back. There we go. So check out the wings on that. I don't know what that says, <laughs> but I just thought it was really neat that they had wings like that on them. It had, you know, different writing and stuff. Because the other ones were just plain red and just said UNO 336. And these actually got some cool writing on them and stuff. So thought that'd be neat to have in the collection, have a box in the collection. So, And then this is really, is this the one that we couldn't get shut? I, no. 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 But anyway, so... This apparently is some sort, it's, I don't know if it says its name. Uh, Monkey Mania. No, he was telling me it's something to do with a Play-Doh, something Play-Doh. So basically, all it is is a plastic cup, and there's a little fountain, which you can see right there. But what I found interesting is the fact that that little fountain burns all the way down, and there's another fuse, and you can see it right there. There's a cracker attached to that fountain. So, I'm guessing the cracker's going to blow up. I don't, I guess, unless it's something else, but uh, it looked just like a firecracker. But So, a little fountain in a cup, and it's called something Play-Doh. So, I'm going to have to maybe look it up and see if I can find something on it. There's a little uh, QR code right there that uh, I'm going to use and try to find something on it and see if they're any good. I got three of those. He, he gave me three of those. Uh, told me to take him home and try him. He gave me this one and also the duck. So, and he gave me a pack of rockets from Brothers. These are actually pretty decent rockets if I remember correctly. It's been a while since I've had these. And okay, is that is that the rest is okay? So the rest, what'd you say? The rest is like doubling. Okay, so yeah, uh. I do have, I got two of the dogs, right? And then I got a few more case, or packs of these. And okay, so these, he, I guess he had these around the 4th. He was trying to sell them, had them on sale. And he goes, those yellow ones will not sell. He says, just take them. So I was like, are you sure? He goes, yep, take them, take them all. So I said, okay. So I started loading them in the cart, and he, and I'm like, are you sure? <laughs> like, I asked him a few times. He said, just take them. So here's what we ended up with. <clears throat> is There's a whole, I don't know, Taylor. Let's, let's dig those out, Taylor, actually, while we're here. Let's just maybe count them out a little bit. Pull some of this stuff out. So I've shot one. Just try to get an idea, Taylor. You don't have to take every one out, but get enough out that we can count them, I guess. Let's see how many he gave us here. Greatly, greatly appreciate it. Because, I mean, I don't have anything wrong with yellow smoke. We took one outside and we tested it and checked it out and it worked really well. And they appear to be a little bit older. You can just, I mean, tell by the way they look. There's 22. Plus the one we shot was 23. Mm -hmm. So 23. We got 23 of these for free and so usually you go buy one of these things for three bucks a piece or better mm -hmm. so 24 times three yeah he, he had them on sale trying to sell them so anyway guys that was a great deal i greatly appreciate that that was a huge blessing from him so uh i tried to go there a few times a year uh i just i can't always i mean they are a seasonal store but they'll open up for you uh, I can't always get there, but I always go at least once or twice a year, and he's always very, uh, he, he's always gives me some, some things to take home, so I greatly appreciate that. And that's Barefoot Village, and, uh, I think it's actually Cherokee Pass, but I think the address is, uh, Fredericktown. And he also gave us, uh, two of these shirts. Taylor's gonna model it for me here. This one's yours. <laughs> this one is mine. It's the extra large. I'm blowing it up, and it says bootleg bomb, and then it says, I'm listening to my boom boxes, I'm gonna sparkle, and I'm smoking. So, for the 4th of July plans, let's get lit. Alright, Barefoot Village Fireworks, guys. So that is it. Uh, so over in this bag, Taylor, is just more rockets. So a few more rockets in there, guys. All of the yellow grenades, and then everything you see on the table and the t-shirts, guys. So... That was my pickup for the day, guys. Greatly appreciate the, the blessings that I got. Please make sure you like, comment, and subscribe, guys. We need some to get those subscribers up, get the views up. I'm trying to make good content and do some demos. And People's been asking me about certain types of videos, and I am going to try to do some more of that, guys. I appreciate all of you guys, each and every one of you guys that have subscribed and watched. And those of you that aren't subscribed, please consider it. 
And if not, that's okay too. Just uh, pray that everybody's blessed. God bless you guys. We'll see you all in the next one. Taylor, got any last words? Um, bye. Bye. All right, that'll work. See you guys.